Hey, and welcome. If it's your first time here, my name is Sadia. I post videos every week. The topics include nutrition because I'm a dietitian and nutritionist and that's totally my jam, but also other topics like productivity, minimalism, and travel. Welcome to Pickup Lines. Now I'm always being asked, how did you come up with the money to travel for six months? Or how do you afford to start your own business? Well, unlike my younger self, I've learned how to I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you 30 money saving hacks that I've learned along the way. I've categorized them for you into shop, food, health, and home and minimalism. Let's get started. Want versus need. Learn the difference between them. Asking yourself, do I want this or do I need this while you're shopping works wonders. Shop intentionally. If you didn't go there to get it, you probably don't need it. Carry cash. Use cash as much as possible instead of cards. Snap a picture. If you're not really sure if you need it or if it fits your home or your style, just snap a picture and wait. If you're finding you still want it in a week, you can revisit the picture and reassess. Compare online. Don't buy right away. Compare to online shops like Amazon or Craigslist. And by waiting too, you might actually find you don't really need it. Unsubscribe from channels. Unsubscribe from those channels that do the hauls, the makeup hauls and the clothing hauls. You know, the ones that make you feel like you really don't have enough, but you do. Unsubscribe from media marketing. Unsubscribe from magazines, fashion blogs, or online newsletters that encourage spending. Go to the library. Bookstores can be appealing, but if you need to save, borrow books and even check out your library's audiobook section instead of buying them, which also just adds extra clutter to your house. Cut your own hair. I literally just heard the gasp through the camera. I've been cutting my own hair for five years and it saved me a lot of money. And I learned it by watching some videos on YouTube. If you're willing to give it a try, you can start by cutting it very modestly. And then if you like how it looks, great. And if not, you can always go get it touched up. Thrift shops. Need I say more? No spend days. Schedule no spend days on your phone. This can be the same day every week and stick to it. This might seem like the hardest thing in the world, but you're going to live. And then you're gonna realize just how easy it can be. Learn to say, I can't afford it. Now, some people just cringed, but learning to say this simple sentence will do more for your finances than any detailed financial plan can. Keep track of your finances. Don't underestimate the power of this one. Make your own coffee or tea at home. It's unbelievable how much this one can save you. And I didn't really put it into practice until I moved to the Netherlands because unlike North America, there aren't coffee shops on every street corner. Well, there are coffee shops, just a totally different kind. Make your own food. I would not be a good dietitian if I didn't mention this one, but seriously, big money saver right here. Don't shop when you're hungry. Try to have a snack before you go so that way you can shop smart and avoid overbuying, which can be costly and lead to waste. Local markets. Try to find the markets or shops in your neighborhood that are more affordable. One tip is to try the ethnic stores. Sometimes those can be cheaper. Things like Turkish stores, Persian, Japanese, or Chinese shops. Buy in bulk, especially the foods that you eat more often. For me, these are foods like oats, rice, beans, nuts, seeds, and spices. Cook in bulk and plan your meals. This will save you more money than is reasonable. I've done another video on meal prep that I'll link at the end of this video. Eat in company. Eat with others whenever you can. It helps to fill the belly and nourishes the soul. Plus, sharing the cost is always cheaper. Find a hobby. We shop when we're bored. You know what I mean. Ride a bike. Now, riding a bike here in the Netherlands is super easy where apparently there's more bikes than people. But I was also biking a lot when I was back in Vancouver and I even biked through a couple of countries in Southeast Asia. If it is possible for you to bike, it's gonna save you a load of money on gas and it's obviously better for your health. And if you can't bike, consider public transport instead of using a car. Eat well and stay fit. Even if you're in a country where healthcare is free, if you take care of your health, you're gonna be spending less money on medications, on hospital bills, or having to pay other people to do things for you. Find a dual purpose for things. This means you're gonna to need to buy less because one item has more than one use. For example, I use glass jars to store things in my pantry. I use them as vases for flowers, and I use them as uh, carrying devices for my sauces when I need to take a lunch or a smoothie on the go. Turn off the heat. If it's winter where you are, turn off or turn down the heat about an hour before you're gonna go to sleep. Your house is still gonna be warm, but you really don't need all of that excess heat, especially when you're gonna be warm under the covers. And trust me, I really value staying warm, but this tip really works. Do it yourself. If you can, learn to do it yourself. 
When we moved into this apartment, we painted our own walls, put in our own floors, and installed our own light fixtures. And this saved us a load of money. Homemade cleaner. A one-to-one -one solution of water and vinegar makes a wonderful multi-purpose cleaner that'll save you money compared to if you bought loads of unnecessary cleaning products that are out there. Plus, it's less chemical. Declutter and organize. You might find that you have enough already or actually even too much. Sell it. While cleaning, did you find something that you haven't used in a really long time? Can you declutter by selling it? Well, then you just hit two birds with one stone. Subscribe. Now you saw the themes that I've mentioned in this video, which included nutrition and minimalism, which also happen to be the themes of this channel. So by subscribing, you are going to be continuing to help yourself in your journey towards saving money. As I promised before, right here is the video that I posted previously about how to better meal prep, and this is gonna also be a huge money saver. All right, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next video.